What's going on, Solid Steppers? I just pulled up and parking spot and had me a virtual office moment. When you're in business, you better be able to get it in anywhere. Paperwork, documentation, scanning, emailing, whatever. You got to be timely in everything you do. So I just got finished coaching a young man that I'm very proud of. He's working for a company right now doing his thing. And, you know, he saw me over at Marcon doing what I do. People always ask me, how do I meet these subcontractors? I'd be like, dude, I'm Miss Ward. Really? Stop asking me. Be me. Or be a version of your best version of you. You feel me? So anyway, the gentleman I was talking, and I, I'm a, actually I was talking to somebody else and he walked up. So I had to end that conversation, pay attention to the young man. He recognized me from YouTube. Da, 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 da. Woo, woo, woo. I'm starting to get a little popular, man. I might, I don't know. I got to think about it. But anyway, let me get back on track. So he stopped and he asked me. He was told, telling me about his aspirations to open a business, to do this, to do that, all that good stuff. And I was like, good for you, young man. Good for you. Now, the thing that was interesting was this young man's working a job, stacking his dollars, and he want to have between 30, 50,000 stash before he go into business. Now I'm looking at him like, how old are you? Because you actually got a little sense. You know, he's a baby. I think he like 30 something, 37, somewhere around in there. But anyway, we, we shooting, the, shoot, shooting the crap and we're just exchanging information. And I'm telling him like, really, you don't need that much. But I also respect the fact that he's a young man. He knows he's going to have bumps in the road and he's going to have that cushion. He specializes in seal systems high end. I'm looking at him like, dude, you can get paid right now. But, you know, I also realize that he hasn't been exposed. So he'd rather have his game together than just jump out there. Applause to you, young man. Applause to you, young man. I'm going to just say, Jay, you know who you are. But anyway, why am I saying this? These people out here thinking that they can get in business with no money, y'all killing me. Y'all go buy a little $500, $200 course, $800,000, $2,000 course. You think that that course in itself is going to help you get out here. You don't even have the money to buy the support tools that are needed to put you to put you in position. You don't have money to get a plantology. You don't have, so you run over to the Voxer group and you beg for uh, this and you beg for that. You know, at the end of the day, at some point you're gonna have to get some balls and go structure your business accordingly. Then you wonder why you're not moving forward. You can't buy a plantology. What's that? Two hundred dollars. You can't buy a uh, service managers. That's two seventy. You know, I mean, you could get together with three people and do that. Like, really? If you do the research, you know, three people you trust. You know, boom, boom, boom. Split it. You know, I mean, you can't go buy my parts. Hell, I mean, at the end of the day, everybody want to have their own stuff. You know, like I know, because you don't want to depend on nobody. That's the name of the game, because you never know. You might not be able to get up with your, your peoples, you know? So you want to be able to roll accordingly. But no. Y'all want to be cheap. Get out, and then you wonder why you don't make no money. Every time I turn around, Miss Ward, I need to make some money. Well, you need to have some money. This is business. This ain't doggone hustle. I mean, the real smart hustlers know how to hustle. Put something to the side, hustle. Put something to the side, hustle. Put something to the side. But no, y'all want to get out here and, and floss like y'all got it going on and have no idea that you don't understand when you start a business, you, all that money you making, guess what? It ain't yours. It belongs to the business. You ain't got no money. That's the business money. That's like a kid. Like, look, you have a kid. Everything you get out here to do, that ain't your money. That, that money belongs to that kid young man out here that's raising a family you know you ain't got no money man you wearing the same clothes for the last 10 years because you got to make sure the baby got shoes this this and that your wife got that it this i mean it is what it is y'all killing me man like the reality is these people gonna take these courses then you want to point at the instructor because you ain't got your stuff together uh, and that's that fast money, quick money. I mean, first of all, you don't even have the discipline and the mindset to study the tutorials that are free on YouTube. I mean, they're visual. I mean, you can stop them, take notes. I mean, come on, people. I need y'all to get together. I'm going to just tell you the truth. 
the truth is you trifle. Don't get out here and blame somebody else because you ain't successful. And then you got, like, prime example. Before I started this, I was listening to a young lady. She ain't got no damn followers. She always be doing live trainings. And she be putting out so much fire. And I'm going to be grimy. I'm not giving the name because I'm not doing the free 99 with y'all tonight. It's not happening. You're going to have to work for it because I have learned. I have put my sweat, tears, blood, all that on the table for people they're not willing to do the work. Ain't nothing I can do for you. You know, I can't pick up where your mama left off because what is my great, my favorite saying in the world? You cannot re-raise grown folks. Get off your ass and learn something. Winter is not coming. I'm sorry to tell you, winter is here. I'm scrambling, looking at my accounts, trying to make sure stuff in order. I got bills to pay. I got people that I actually need to take care of. I mean, at the end of the day, it is what it is. It's people that looked out for me, so I got to make sure they straight. But at the end of the day, that's called honor. 99% of y'all don't even have no damn honor. Y'all just out here getting because it's getting. Boy, look at him. Like I always say, favor ain't fair. You better listen to the truth, and I suggest you apply it. I had a, a Zoom meeting with my uh, solid steppers. Same conversation. Look, y'all, Miss Ward, y'all done had access to Miss Ward for free for X amount of time. Those days are over. I need y'all to get it together. I didn't give you gave, given those people and that group enough game that they should need nothing from me. They should be able to support each other and get it done. Because if one didn't talk to me about something, the other one did. Y'all better get it together. All the way together. I'm really trying to get some gas. These people only let me get over so I can get some gas. Can I get some gas, please? I prefer not to be out here pushing this big ass van. And this one, he ain't gonna let me over? Okay. Let me just let everybody pass by and be a jerk. Because I'm just trying to get over. Thank you. Appreciate it. Welcome to South Florida. We drive with no licenses. We just here. We are just here. I don't want to make that move as bad as I wanted to make that U-turn, but this is not the time to do it. Follow your gut. But anyway, like I said, some people, you take the courses, and then when you take the courses, you only study the courses. Like, I will freely admit, I have bought the courses, and I haven't completed the courses. I haven't done all the stuff. I go back when I have an issue and brush up on this and that, and I will tell you, and I'm a genius. So I'm going to tell you, at the end of the day, I would even be better if I finished all the courses and really took notes. But the point is, is that I apply. I get out here and get it. Now, that's some things that I could have did better on if I would have took the whole course or paid attention to the whole course. But no, I got out here just like y'all saw a little green and boom, 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 with buck wild, missteps and messed up. See, I can admit it, though, because I'm Miss Ward. I'm going to keep it a buck. I'm authentic as they come. But the reality is y'all asses is too broke to be doing that. Because y'all come out here with no money and think that appliance repair is a miracle drug. It ain't no miracle drug, particularly if you're trying to hustle. You halfway know how to read a schematic. Go in here and get mad because it take you three to four hours on somebody's appliance. How you going to get mad? And how you going to get mad with the customer? You're doing a disservice to everybody when all you got to do is invest in appliantology, invest in service matters, or actually go back to the courses and then scour Google, Scrib, Manuals Library, all the appliance blog, appliance video, and really go through and study. When I started, I was studying three to four hours, man, and my I, I, I didn't even sleep at all because I knew I was jacked up. I knew I had to get it together because the less I knew, the less money I made and the more money I lost and, and I, the, a lot of money I lost from making dumbass mistakes, from being incompetent and not knowing. That's why I be on y'all. Because ain't nobody else going to tell you. I'm going to keep it raw and uncut. Get your life together, people. Because you messed up your money and the generations to come. I here think you a damn appliance repair business owner. No, what you are is a joke. Y'all kill me with that. Don't put me in the same damn category. And see, I will admit my imperfections. But, but baby, I go toe to toe anybody, with anybody today, but I earned it. And I'm still earning it. I had a Zoom meeting last night, got off late. One of my uh, students hit me up. I'm like, look, I'm up doing homework. Like, you know, I appreciate the compliment, but uh, I don't just talk about it. I do it. 
I was up. I mean, I'm telling you, I think I went to bed by 2 o'clock. I had to get my fat ass up and go see my uh, personal trainer. At five, it had to be that 545. I got that 549, and he'd be as polite as he is. He was giving me the side eye. Trust me, because he don't play. But that's why he's my trainer, because he is an accountability partner that I respect. We gonna get this fat off me, honey. I'm gonna be, hey, look, don't say nothing to me when you see me walking on the beach and I'm looking like Nia Long, uh, Rihanna, uh, Beyonce, auntie. You know, I'm gonna be that fine ass auntie. You feel me? Everybody got one. Don't call me. That's all I'm gonna say. But all jokes aside, y'all, y'all know I love y'all, but I really need y'all to get the message. Winter is here. Stop playing. You already got everything you need to be successful. You just got to di get disciplined. You know you don't know how to read schematics. Buckle your ass down on schematics. Pull some of these YouTube videos on automotive. Those automotive guys, I swear they give you the best schematic training that I've ever seen. You follow me because they break it down. And if you anywhere mechanical, you understand a little bit about cars, you definitely can get that. It makes sense. I mean, if you don't understand refrigeration, you want to get into refrigeration before you hit seal systems, you definitely need to understand that. There are too many things on YouTube and too much free for you to go anywhere and not be prepared. Before you get into any mechanical or service industry, learn the basics before you invest your money and make sure this is something you want to do. Because once you get in here, ain't no turning back. Because if you stop, guess what? You are, you number one, you have failed and you lost a lot of money in the process the reality is pick a lane and stay in it and do well hey that's all i can say miss ward signing off y'all know i love you but sometimes somebody just got to give y'all tough love and that's my middle name tl tough love all right solid steppers you know what the expectation is i need y'all to represent i need y'all to be on it have a great night